Hey guys, welcome to the Hesitant Homesteader. It's Jenna here. Today we're working on our goat barn and just putting the finishing touches on and making it just have that little extra something special to make it look cute. Um, so I'm gonna put, um, well, I'm not going to, but Ben is going to build me a window box, maybe some shutters. We're going to um, plant some flowers in there, put a little sign up. There's something though that I've always had in the back of my head that I want to do on all of the the things that we're building on our property as we're creating this homestead. And I want to, when we're like old and bringing our grandkids to the property and the, you know they're growing up and running around here, I want them to see the progression of how we put this together and how we created our homestead. Um, and when all of that happened, just kind of a timeline. So I am coming up with some way, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet, where I am going to take some kind of a metal plaque and I want to mark all of our buildings and the things that we're making. So we have built our own home. We now have the goat barn. Ben is in the process of building a much larger barn um, that will be going, we put in our garden. And there, you know, there's just a lot of things that go into creating a homestead. And so I want it to say, you know, just like, the goat barn established in 2019. Just something, little memo that we can look back on one day and just see that that's when we did it. Um, so that's one of the things I'm gonna be doing today. Something that you may or may not know about me is that color and design are something that I really love. Um, there's something in me that just loves creating a space that's not only comfortable and functional for your own family to be in, but to invite people in where it's just welcoming. It's not overwhelming. They don't feel like they can't touch things, but it's just a beautiful space where people just wanna hang out and relax and sit around and just have great conversation. So um, when we built our home, I had the opportunity to do that in every single room of our house, which was awesome. Uh, but then I kind of found that myself with this little bit of void uh, after after we finished building where I still have that in me where I want to be designing and making things beautiful and so I'm taking something like my goat barn <laughs> that you know it's just a little thing that needs to be functional but we're going to make it extra cute I I want to put my little design touches in it so that I have my little creative outlet. I think that's really what it's about. <laughs> um, but it gives me an excuse to get out some paintbrushes and to start, you know, making a sign or however what I want to go about doing that. Um, there's just something about me with a paintbrush in my hand that is calming. Now, rolling a wall and painting, not my favorite thing, but to actually have a brush is very soothing. I don't know. I love having a paintbrush. So. That's what I'm gonna do today. I'm getting out my brushes and my pencils and I'm going to start making this goat barn my own. So hang out with us today. I have a cat crawling on my feet right now, which is why I keep playing down. <laughs> um, so hang out, I'm gonna take you along on this journey and just show you how we're finishing it up, making it our own. So thanks for hanging out with us. That's a cool soccer ball pencil you have in your ear there. <laughs> Is that what all the manliest men use? I moved it. That's what you get when you ask your kid to help get a pencil for you. <laughs> Thank you. 
tight like that, or... Well, if I get shutters, does it need to go down a bit? Either have to go, like, down here, or I have to be up here, one of the two. Just do it up, I think. hanging out with us today while I took you on this little journey of me being able to use a little bit of my creative energy and Ben being able to use his amazing building skills. That guy is able to do anything. He's so awesome. So thanks for hanging out with us today. Um, please subscribe to our channel, like this video so that you can follow along with all the things that are happening on the homestead. We're always glad to have you along. We'll see you next time.